Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tag here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve common network issues you're experiencing on your Windows computer. So if you're getting a red X or perhaps your network is not working properly on your individual computer, this tutorial should hopefully be able to address your issue without too much of a hassle. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the star menu and you want to type in CMD. Best match on your program should come back with CMD here. You want to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control window, you want to select yes. Now into the elevated command line window, you want to type in IP config. Exactly how it appears on my screen, so IP C O N F I G space forward slash release. And then you want to hit enter. So once you're done typing that in, you want to type in IP config space forward slash flush. DNS. Then you want to hit enter again. Now you want to type in IP config space forward slash renew. Then you want to hit enter. This one will take a moment to run, so just be patient. Now that that one is out of the way, type in NETSH space INT space IP space set, another space DNS. So again, N-E-T-S-H, int IP set DNS, then hit enter on your keyboard. Now that you've done that, you want to type in N-E-T-S-H again, space WinSock, so W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset, then you want to hit enter. Please note that we have reset the WinSock catalog and we're going to have to restart our computer in order to complete the reset. So I would recommend closing out of any open programs or applications you still have open on your computer. And let's restart our device here. Okay, now that our computer has restarted, I am, would recommend checking your internet connection and see if that has fixed the issue through the first step. Now, if that has not resolved your issue, I'd recommend holding over to the start menu again and type in regedit. One of the best matches on our program should say regedit. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control window, left click on yes. Now you want to go underneath H key local machine, so either double click on that folder or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the view. And now go underneath system, so again double click on the system folder or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand. And now you want to go underneath current controller set the same way we've done for the previous couple folders we've expanded. And now you want to go underneath control. And if you notice, you really can't see the list too well anymore. Just drag this little bar over to the right so we can better see where we're navigating to. And now you just want to go down to Network. So just left click on the Network folder here. And you can also see our path is listed down here at the bottom of the screen so you can clearly see where we are. And now on the right, you want to look for something that says Config. So I'm going to right click on that. And then I'm going to left click on Delete. It's going to say Deleting Certain Registry Values Could Cause System Instability. Left click on Yes. So at this point, I would recommend also closing out of here and then restart your computer and see if that's resolved your issue. Now, if that has not resolved your issue, I'd recommend resetting your router. So if it's plugged into the wall, you could just unplug it for about a minute and then plug it back in. Or alternatively, there should be a button on most routers that you can reset it. So it might be like a circle with an arrow going around it. So basically just will reset or refresh the router settings. I'd recommend checking that one out as well. Now, if that still has not resolved the issue, 
And like I said, you should restart your computer after doing that previous step for the registry that I showed you. I recommend heading over to the Start menu and typing in System Restore. And the best match underneath programs should say System Restore here, and I'm just going to open it up. And this would basically just entail a classic System Restore. So going back to the most recently created Restore point, if you have one on here, and then just clicking on Next and letting your System Restore back. I've noticed that this has had success in the past before, so that's why I'm just throwing it out there as well as another alternative fix. Definitely worth checking out, and I think people might underestimate System Restore a lot and they might not even think about it, but it could definitely be beneficial in many cases as well. But I do hope one of the methods I went through in this tutorial did resolve your issue. And as always, thank you for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.